Well, we can take, make allowances. There it is. You reckon he's caught him in the face there, Bob? You don't agree? I don't agree. Well, there you are. This goes to show how t Channel 7 uh, cameras do lie sometimes in the eyes of Bob Skilt. <laughs> Ball back again to Hounsell, right on his back is Demetrio. Demetrio can't pick it up, scooped out by Hounsell again. I tell you what, this is not the classiest football match I've seen for... You know, there's a few mistakes being made at the moment. I suppose they're trying themselves at a short pass, coming out wide now. Jonas has got the mark. And by all accounts, this fellow's starting to hit his straps. He's a very good player. Came here with a big reputation from South Australia. Good to see Jonas fit and playing again after having those two broken legs. It was bad luck. Is Jonas about uh, 45 metres out from goal. Kick is a wobbly old one. A chance for Cracker to mark. That's Jimmy, but uh, didn't go for it. Hodgman picks it up. A snap for goal. That's not a bad sort of a kick. Goal. And it could be the first goal. Yes. After that goal to Hodgman. North Melbourne swing into attack now. And the ball delivered up towards their half-forward position. Ian Roberts. Good mark over Hodgman. Short pass to right centre wing. Really taking the ball out very wide. That's uh, Hounsell taking the mark. Looking for Danaher. Vernon. Atrocious kick by Daryl Vernon. Registers one behind. He certainly didn't steady himself too much there in the Swans' lead by that margin. Eight points to seven. Bob, that young Roberts is an improved player for, in defence for, for the Swans. Yes, the injuries that the, the Swans had in that first game forced him to put him into the back pocket. He played a great game that day. And he's been there ever since, allowing them to put Ackley up on the wing. Nimmo's kick marked by Kelly in turn towards centre wing. Browning and Fury. Schimmelbush from Cruz. Schimmelbush wins out. Gets leg. He'll take the free kick. Back to Fury. A little bit too slow to get rid of the ball. He got pushed in the back, though, says umpire Peter Cameron. And it will be a free kick assisted by a 15-metre penalty, which will bring him almost to the right half-forward flank. Swans kicking with the breeze this quarter, as uh, you pointed out, Bob, probably a four or five goal breeze and scores on level at the moment, so probably the honours in the match to date with North Melbourne. Kerry Good was the flyer and comes down with the mark, but it's on the shoulder, says the umpire. It's a free kick. I don't know whether the recipient is going to be the same player. It would appear so. He did have the mark in any case, so make up your own mind on that. There's the free kick. Uh, Either way. I reckon he was in two minds. The umpire was going to give it to the Swans, and when he saw Kerry Good grab it on the second grab, he said, well, OK, it's your mark. Yes, Good, when he jumped up, did push Dempsey into the, <laughs> into the pack in front of him, but uh, it was his own teammate that Good got into the back of, so uh, you can put it down as a great mark. Kerry Good, from 35 metres out, has registered North Melbourne's next score. It's one behind. And that levels it all up once again. Eight points each of two. Seven's big lead. Just over ten minutes gone of the first quarter. And the Swans kicking to the end that's favoured by a fairly strong breeze. There's a chance now for round and Dempsey goes the punch. Dempsey, it's a beauty over to Hodgman. Drives the ball up for his second goal, but he's off target. And another point to the North Melbourne team. So they're one goal, three, nine points to the Swans, one, two, eight points. Waiting now for the ball to come back into play by Carter. I would say this fellow's a very improved uh, player and a very efficient fullback. As the ball goes back there, the McCann couldn't hold that. Bit of a struggle going on. Uh, we see Jackson battling hard for this one, but the umpire said it'll be a ball up on the, the North Melbourne half forward line. Right on the point of the square. McCann gets a tap down, knocked it right to Barry Round, who very cunningly weighted down. And there's a good mark to uh, North Melbourne again. This time it's Lord Glenn Denning let one go at Evans and Braddy come in from behind. Gave him a little clip on the chin that time. It stings a bit. 15 metre penalty. This brings Lord out of the half forward line. Should love this in the goal square. Who can mark it down there for North Melbourne? Oh, there's a beautiful mark just about to uh, win Banks. He's paying it. Great grab, that. And he's played very well the first couple of games. There it is in replay, Bob. He's a very improved player. Ball knocked out again to Gary Dempsey. It's a funny old kick over towards centre half forward. Players set themselves again, but there's a good mark in defence by Jackson. Of course, Jackson missed all last year with injury, and it'll take him a couple of weeks to get back into top form again. Over the top of the pack, David Dents coming back now, picks the ball up there at centre half back, shoots it across the centre field. But it's a bad kick, and a mark taken here by, uh, by the Swans. Morewood up towards half forward. Greg goes the punch. Or down to uh, Ackerley, to Vernon, 
Back to Ackerley, who's covering plenty of ground in this first quarter. Ackerley in towards the forward pocket, almost a grab to Torbett. He plays on. Is that a mark, Braddy? Not 10 metres, surely. A chance for Wright. Still in play. And it will be a ball up, says umpire Peter Cameron, as the ball was only millimetres from the line. Two number 24s were uh, intending doing battle. Dench ultimately got the ball, and it's a free kick to the Swans because he handballed it out deliberately. I think David Dench agrees with him. He didn't argue at all, Bob. <laughs> he, he knew he had nothing else he could do. It was probably worth the risk. David Dench is such a, a, a good player, he wouldn't argue with the umpire anyway, would he? No. He's just fun. going back from suspension, you know. That's right. He'd be on his best behaviour. Craig Braddy shot from the boundary line. He's threaded it through. That's a very good kick for goal by Craig Braddy. His first in the Swan second. Once again, they lead. And on seventh big league, the scoreboard is 2-2-14 to 1-3-9. That's all there. Uh, a very happy Barry round. And their goals that, uh, well, you either kick them or you don't. There's, uh, there's, we watch again on replay, and he's right alongside the boundary line. And... No mistaking about that, and I'm sure Craig Braddy wouldn't like to have that kick again. Five points the difference with the Swans in the lead, but of course they have the breeze in the first quarter. Dempsey doing some very good work at centre bounces, taken by Hounsell and back to Browning. Long kick by Browning, trying to find Carroll. He can't do so. Once again, Nimmo takes the mark. Nimmo gets it over to Ramsey, and the Kangaroos clear it out to the wing. Just over 13 minutes gone, and the Swans at the moment. In front, 14 points to North Melbourne, 9. There's a good mark taken there by Abernethy. Out there at half forward, but a good distance out from goal. Up it goes now, off the top of the pack. Coming back to Hodgman in a bit of trouble. Only cop one from Carter. Now he's clear. Let's him have a left foot snap for goal. Chance here for Fury at the back of Browning. They both missed it. Finally coming in his win backs. Runs over the top of the ball. Good's there too. They're all falling over like nine pins. And the umpire's going to ball it up right against the North Melbourne point post. So a chance now for North Melbourne to score. Carter in front with the McCann. Actually, McCann got that down. Abernethy, is it uh, Fury going through? He ducked his head. And the umpire said it'll be a free kick against him. It'll go to Carter. Carter to take this free kick at the fullback position. Ball back out to half back. Dempsey in front. Oh, beautiful fly that time by Danaher, but the umpire said it'll be a free kick against Dempsey for a push, and that goes to Braddy. Once again, doing very well in the first quarter. He's coming right up the ground, uh, Lou. It's playing at centre half forward, and yet he's got that kick on the half back line. Well, Ramsey got one well, who emphasized the push in the back. The umpire didn't take any notice. Nimmo over now to Kelly. A long kick up there towards the full forward position. Hodgman dropped it, but there's a free kick against Good for a push in the back. And that'll go to Carter. Quick hand pass, backing up well was Browning. Always a beautiful kick out wide. Looking for Torbett. The 224s go after it. It's not fast as it wins here. Just a matter of a bit of luck. Uh, Dempsey gets it up over there to Simmerbush. A bad kick. But luck's going his way now. He can't pick it up. Coming in to meet it now is Scott Cop one on the head. The umpire said play on. Out it comes from McCann over to Fury. Back to Simmerbush. Another one to Hodgman. Oh, they messing about. A shot for goal by Jonas, and I think he may have scored a goal. Yes, he has. Holden leading by one point, kicking against the breeze in this first quarter. Danaher doing battle with Keith Gregg. Danaher has the ball, the umpire has the whistle, and it'll be a ball up at half forward for the Swans. Dempsey with Torbett. Knocked down by Danaher, actually, and picked up by Hodgman. Looking for a free kick. Umpire Peter Cameron not having any of that. And once again, it will be a ball up. Vital game for both teams here at the SCG this afternoon. Now, there's a raffle for it. Vernon had it and lost it. Out it comes to Kelly. Uh, Abernethy, rather. Abernethy. The hand pass. Oh, what a shocker. A chance for Roberts. And also Hodgman on the shoulder, says umpire John Morgan, and it will be a free kick going the Swans' way, and the recipient will be Ian Roberts at half-back. And Cracker runs across the mark and gives away a 15-metre penalty. That wasn't very smart, Jim. Roberts looking for Braddy. Glenn Dinning is the flyer. Superb judgment, though, by Craig Braddy. Results in him being paid the mark, and he would be within kicking distance about 50 metres out from goal, directly in front, with the breeze at his back. Pete, he'll be the best, uh, well, he'll be the most renowned uh, first quarter player in the league at the moment. He's doing well in this term, isn't he? 
that will just about get the distance the accuracy is not what was required and it's through for one behind and that levels the scores up again here at the SCG 15 points each of two Nimmo looks for Dempsey knock on to Schimmelbush pursued by Cruz who gets the better bounce the Swans best player last week round at the back tries to mark it one hand Glenn Dinning and the fine mark or a push or whatever call it what you will it's a Swans ball taken by Evans good gutsy mark that time by Evans he'd be about uh, 45 meters out from goal on a pretty acute angle Evans coming in for the kick scores dead level 15 points apiece oh that's a shocker by Bernie Evans and it's out of bounds on the full and the free kick will go to David Dents down there at full back. I don't think the Swans are scoring enough with this breeze at the moment, Bob. No, they certainly would uh, need at least two more goals at this stage of the quarter, Lou. But uh, so far, a, a good quarter by North, really. There's a fine mark taken by Torbett. Excess, and I bet Judy wished he had him there at the moment, the way the Bombers are going. Now it's Torbett to kick the ball high into that... Uh, Goal square, a chance now for Barry Rout. The back is Nimmo swooping on the ball as the dual Brownlow medalist there. That's Keith Gregg going around the boundary line. Goes for a short pass. As he put it out of bounds. It is now, but he was a bit lucky. Could have been a penalty against him on the full, but the umpire will throw the ball in now from about uh, 45 metres uh, around from the Swans' goal. Score still dead level, 15 points apiece. Barry... Uh, Big Dempsey getting the knockout again. He's doing pretty well. They're picked up by Morwood. Morwood's kick is up towards Nimmo in the forward pocket. Doesn't matter whether it goes out or not. He's still got the ball down there. Decides to go across the ground. Picked up by Glenn Denning, having a great battle with Braddy. Now it's out here to Kelly on his own. He's got a paddock to go for a pass. And it's a beautiful pass there on the mark taken there by Phil Cracker. Short pass again over there to Ebenethy. Better kick it. Torbett's got him. Put him off balance. And this gives the Swans a chance to come clear as the ball is finally picked up by Scott. Nice weaving and dodging over to Torbett. One out wide now to uh, Ackley. Ackley gets into the back of Greg, but he recovers well now. Glenn Dinning goes after him. A hand pass from Danaher out to Braddy. Fumble picked up by Greg again. Short pass to Kelly on his own. Kelly's kick is a long one down there towards Jonas. Got the sit. No, oh, McCann may have grabbed the mark. He has. So McCann's got the mark about 45 metres out from goal. A chance to put this deep into attack for North Melbourne. Kick by uh, McCann's a good one. And what a kick that is. That's a goal, a magnificent kick. North Melbourne leading by six points in the first quarter here of Sevens Big League from the SCG. A chance for Dimitriou. Snares it well at left centre wing. North swing into attack once more, a loose ball at half forward, over the boundary line, and it will be thrown into play adjacent to the players into change area. This corresponding stage of the match two weeks ago, we had four injured players on the boundary line there. None so far today. No interchanges made by either team. Chance for Browning. Picked up for North Melbourne by Jimmy Cracker. Back it comes in turn to Abernethy, to Law. Hodgman. He's already kicked a goal. Gives it over to Andy Dimitriou. A flying shot at goal. Looks pretty good from here. And Dimitriou brings up his first and North Melbourne's fourth. And so the Kangaroos now opening up a pretty useful lead. 4-3, 27 to 2-3, 15. They've got that two-goal lead with uh, good football. Their defence doing well. They're making position and giving players, uh, giving them something to kick to. Uh, Kelly has caught uh, Ackerley out a couple of times on the wing and uh, had the player loose out there. So North Melbourne fully deserving their two-goal lead at this stage. Four different goal kickers for North Melbourne. McCann, Hodgman, Jonas, and of course then Dimitriou, 15 to 27. Knocked down again by Dempsey. He's won most of the centre bounces. Umpire Morgan has found a free kick going the Swans way. And the recipient will be Francis Jackson. Long to half forward. No mark paid to uh, Nimmo. The tackle was from Carroll. It was illegal, as construed by the umpire. A free kick going the Kangaroos' way. Too high to Nimmo that time. He takes the free kick a little short of half back. North Melbourne doing okay. They're 4 3 27 to uh, the Swans, uh, 2 3 15. 
Finally, it's kicked out towards the wing position. There's a chance now for Fewer to get a hand pass over. It's a good one, too, picked up by Ebenethley. This fellow's playing well, too. Hodgman, been a very dangerous player. It's a beautiful pass, and a mark taken there by Phil Cracker. Nearly went off the mark that time, but Phil decided to go back for the kick. Now, this fellow's got a funny old style, Bob, but uh, usually a pretty accurate kick for goal. Both crackers were loose. He could have picked out uh, either brother. Yeah, Here so we go. I think he's fully confident of putting this through. There's the kick by uh, Phil, and he's put it through for another goal to North Melbourne. Chapstick, the effective way to treat and prevent dry, chapped, sun or wind burnt lips. Chapstick keeps lips the way lips should be. Tonight on Seven, Griffin and Phoenix, the heartrending story of two people facing death and finding love. Peter Falk stars with Jill Clayburgh as Griffin and Felix. For the first time on television, seven Sunday movie, tonight at 8.30. 5-3, 33 North Melbourne, the Swans 2, 3, 15, and North Melbourne looking pretty good as we see Fury break through the pack. A hand pass coming out now to McCann. This could be dangerous too as he snapped for goal, but he's off target this time and it's through for one point. So North Melbourne still into attack and looking pretty good. Five goals, 4.34 to the Swans, 2-3-15. I know there's Ricky Quaid, as Bob said before, probably a very worried man. And, of course, Hodgman and the North Melbourne smaller men are doing the damage. The attack uh, is looking good, and North, uh, the Swans' defence is having real trouble holding these guys as Dempsey gets a hand pass out now to Demetrio. Over to Shimmerbush. These are the guys we're talking about. As Shimmer threaded it through, hit the post. And a through for another point. So it's North Melbourne attacking for the last 10 minutes. Five goals, 5.35. To the Swans, two goals, 3.15. Yes, they certainly aren't playing with the same enthusiasm as they displayed against Essendon here a fortnight back. Round his third mark. On to Darrell Vernon. Back towards centre. Glenn Didding. Over goes uh, Hodgman. Chance for the Swans again through Verdon. Picked up on right centre wing. Long handball. Gets it back to Colin Hounsell. And a beautiful smother down there by Nimmo. Sees the ball safely out of bounds. And we'll see a throw in to take place at the 26 and a half minute mark. Well, North Melbourne's tackling has been particularly good. They have created the loose man well on their forward line. The two crackers have been exceptional at that. And also Hodgman has played very well so far in the first quarter. Knocked down by Danaher, it's sharked by Kelly again, Abernethy, on towards uh, Dimitriou, playing well, McCann makes position superbly, long kick by McCann, could it almost be a score, and in fact it is, it's gone through for one behind, and that takes the North Melbourne total to 36 points, 5-6 to two goals, three. So North doing all the attacking at the moment, Roberts, straight to Dimitriou, He's playing well. He it? is. Plenty of possession so far in the first quarter. This is about his fifth kick. Andy Dimitriou left half forward, but about uh, 45 to 50 metres out from goal. Not a great kick. Good. Making a very valiant attempt to pick that one up. Just couldn't do so. And it'll be thrown in the forward pocket for the Kangaroos. The Swans look a little bit lethargic at the moment. Jackson and Round with McCann. One by McCann. Oh, Roberts almost yeah, had his head pulled off. I think it's Roberts down there. It is, and he'll take the free kick in the back pocket. Yes, grabbed uh, round the neck, and uh, Roberts to take that. Oh, well smothered by Jimmy Cracker, and the ball is out of bounds, and keeping the ball well within striking distance of the North Melbourne goal. And they've been into attack for the last uh, 15 minutes of this first quarter, and we've only got about two minutes to go before it, uh, it ends, I would say. Knocked out to a Cracker. Oh, beautiful play by Jimmy Crack. He's kicked it very high, but he's off target. And it's through for another point. Just as well they're not kicking straight, Bob, because uh, it'll be a one-horse race. 5-7-37 North Melbourne to the Swans 2-3-15. Yes, we're all over the ground there on top at the moment. Uh, although Braddy did start well, Glenn Denning has been an attacking half-back and McCann's well on top of Jackson at centre half forward. I think that's a move they should think of, taking... Uh, Jackson off uh, McCann because he's far too tall at the moment. The ball goes back there towards uh, Glenn Denning and uh, Braddy. It's Glenn Denning finally jugging the ball out, but there's a scrimmage here now. No one making much progress. It's finally actually the little uh, champion coming out with the ball, driving it up there towards the full forward position. There we see uh, on the ground now is uh, the Baker's Baker. On Baker's on the ground there. The ball finally kicked out wide to uh, Ramsey. Ramsey gets around. He's opponent Evans pretty well. 
has plenty of time to dispose of this one looking for Shimmer, but once again it's Cruz in the way. He's a battler. Strong play. Nothing fancy about Max Cruz, but by golly, he gets there. Kicked by Cruz. is over the half-forward line. Keep Greg flying high. Braddy comes in. Down he goes. Kicked off the ground again, and it's through for one point. Evans kicking that one. It's uh, two goals for 16. The Swans to... Uh, North Melbourne still doing pretty well, 5-7, 37. Waiting now for the ball to come back into play. It'll be Nimmo. Oh, balking round Baker, that wouldn't be hard to do. Big fella, there's the siren to end the first quarter. And we see North Melbourne in a good position, 5-7, 37. To the Swans, 2-4, 16.